hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel i'm just gonna create a quick um video here on how i do some barbecue chicken legs in the oven now this is really quick it's easy and that's why i'm gonna upload it i'm just showing you some of the seasonings that i'm going to be using um i chose a sweet baby ray's barbecue sauce because listen this barbecue sauce is the truth and if you see i think i'm going to be uploading a um, video where i taste a lot of different barbecue sauces and you'll see how sweet baby ways measures up to the other competitors so what we're going to get started with is our ingredients i'm going to show it to you i got some garlic powder i got chicken seasoning i got paprika I got some onion powder, never mind the corn in the background. I'm gonna boil that corn later on. Um, and I got some all purpose seasoning and some more chicken seasoning over here. I also have half an onion chopped here. And I got a little bit of green pepper and a little bit of red pepper. I'm gonna cut these up and show you how I season this up. So this is how I chopped up the green pepper and the red pepper and I got the half onion here and now we're just going to season it. This is super easy. Oh, I forgot to say how much um, chicken this is. You know, I don't really don't even know. It was just a pack of drumsticks that I got from the supermarket. Um, there's like one, there's two, four, six, eight ten there's like ten drumsticks in here I don't know how much that weighs but you get the point so I'm gonna start with the chicken seasoning we're not gonna put too much seasoning on this because we don't want to crowd out the flavor of our barbecue sauce okay next up is our all-purpose seasoning I'm putting about maybe I don't want to say maybe a teaspoon of each not too much next up got my onion powder this is my second green um this is my second chicken seasoning this is blue mountain country um you don't have to use like two chicken seasonings what you can use is old bay old bay is really good on chicken as well and i got my garlic powder last but not least i have my paprika and i really like paprika I, you know what i don't even think paprika has a real flavor to be honest um, I usually use it on chicken because paprika gives chicken a darker color. I really dislike it when chicken looks white. I don't think it looks appetizing that way. So I typically use paprika on chicken only. So here we are. We are nice and seasoned up. And what I'm going to do is squirt some of our sweet baby rays, sweet baby rays, all over this chicken, okay? So here we go. And I'm not even really measuring this. I'm just squirting it on top. We're going to put another coating anyway. So there's really no need to measure this. What you wanna call that? Like maybe two teaspoons or so? I mean, this is so good. Like, I feel like the more the better. Okay, so we put some barbecue sauce on and now we're just going to massage the ingredients all into the chicken. Now at this time, what you really want to do is preset your oven to like 375 degrees, I want to say, because you're going to cook this chicken first. When the chicken is cooked, then you're going to put a little bit more barbecue sauce on top. Then you're going to turn the heat up and really let it get that crisp barbecue off the grill look. Okay. okay. 
Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is take our chicken legs out and transfer it to our pan. Okay, so here it is. I transferred it to our pan. And I know some of you are gonna say like, oh, do I have to cover this? No, you don't have to cover it. You can if you want to. If you don't want to, that's also fine. I'm not gonna cover this simply because I went to the grocery store and I forgot to get foil. And the worst thing to do is come home and realize you forgot something. And I'm not going back outside, so uncovered it is. All right, now let's walk over to the stove. I got my oven set on 375. And we're just going to put it in there now. See you later, chicken legs. So it's been about half an hour since our drumsticks have been in the oven. So I'm just going to take it out and baste it. You really should be basting it like every 15 to 20 minutes so that it doesn't dry out. If you left your chicken covered, then there's really no need to baste it because the steam created by closing the pan will be enough to keep the chicken moist. So now that I've basted this, I'm gonna put it right back in the oven to continue cooking. Okay guys, so it's been another 30 minutes since these chicken drumsticks have been in the oven. So I took them out and I basted them again. And now the last thing we're going to do is take our barbecue sauce Spread them on top of our drumsticks and turn the heat up on that oven so that they can get a nice, crispy look to it. So what I'm doing is just making sure there's like an even coat of barbecue sauce on all of the drumsticks. And you're gonna see how crazy this looks when it comes out of the oven, watch gonna look crazy and listen there's no measurement for this because it's really up to what you prefer but this barbecue sauce is so darn good like the more the better in my opinion okay so we got our drumsticks nicely glazed and we're gonna put this back on the oven I'm gonna turn the heat up to like 400 degrees and leave it in there for like 15 minutes but I'm gonna keep an eye on it just to make sure you know things are not going crazy we don't want to burn up our chicken at the last minute okay let's put this baby back inside the oven here we go So this is our chicken, 400 degrees, 15 minutes later, and look what we got here. Our chicken is nice and ready. Take a look at that. See how we have our little char marks? Kind of gives it the appearance of like a barbecue grilled chicken. There we go. All done. So now I'm going to serve this with some rice and potato salad. And that's our Sunday dinner. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more.